Hey y'all, welcome to Flame Tarot. I'm here to give y'all some messages. Um, they want me to use these cards. These aren't really tarot cards. Actually, to take you the truth, I was inspired <laughs> by the ghetto nun to uh, not make my own deck, but I am gonna, I wanna purchase one of her decks basically, but I don't want y'all to think I stole something from someone else, but she be using pictures and stuff. And, and her readings are really funny and good and, and, and insightful. Anyway, uh, but I was called to use these met these cards right here because they they are uh, places around the United I mean not around the United States around the world. Um, so they want me to focus on channeling things from around the world, I guess. So anyway, <clears throat> let's see what comes out. All right, we had the Golden Gate Bridge in England. I see something about the London London Bridge. That's what I thought about Cuba. What's going on in Cuba? This is my Page of Wands card. Something is going on in Cuba. It could be uh, some sort of war or some sort of, um, what's that called when a uh, state of emergency happening? It says Havana, uh, Spanish popular girl's name, Anna and Carlos. Something about Carlos Santana. Possibly. Is he from Cuba? I'm not sure where he's from. Uh, famous food, black beans. Something about baseball and boxing are here. Hola, adios and gracias. Okay, I, I see a lot of um, immigrants coming in or them coming up with uh, the United States coming up with some sort of uh, policy for immigration, but also some sort of help. Some sort of program is here. Uh, also something about the Cuban music or salsa or whatever. I don't know, something like that is here. Uh, let's see, the Alamo. Look at that, the Alamo. Definitely something about Spanish people are here. It's, it's San Antonio, Texas, which is in Texas. It was built by a, a was a built Spanish mission in 1744. Something about the Spanish culture culture is here. Um, then on top of the deck, this is my hermit card. Oh, my bad, the Alamo, that's my death card. <laughs> so death is here, uh, but then the hermit card is is my uh, dome of the rock. This is the Islamic shrine is also here. You know what I'm also getting? I'm getting a, a mixture of cultures coming together for something. Now this could be like, I don't know, I was already picking up some sort of famous politician passing away soon, but this could definitely be something like that or um, something going on in these places. <laughs> Look, Israel is, is underneath the deck. Something about these places being affected by the war in, in uh, is it Giza? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, something about leaving from... Uh, also, this could be like biblical things happening or... Because, you know, allegedly the... According, well, according to the Bible, that war has been going on or it's, it's something biblical that's supposed to take place. So, I'm not saying it's good or right or anything like that. I'm just saying it's something that's been prophesied here as well, too. So... Something about these, now this, this could be like, ooh, this could be like foreigners, not necessarily foreigners, but foreigners of both countries. This, this could be like something to do with Spain as well too. I'm not sure how close Spain is to Israel, but it seems closer. I know it's closer than the Alamo and uh, Cuba. Something about opposites, uh, Something about these two places or places in these regions going through some sort of hardships or something like that is here. The Knight of Wands. Something about possibly not enough farming land or something like that. Or I'm picking up cattle, but I'm also picking up, I don't know why I'm picking up some sort of child prodigy is here. Or something about the future of the kids, or of the kids are here. There's nothing but kids on these, um, on these cards, look. It's 
our kids. Something about, now this could be kids mixed with different nationalities. It could be, uh, they could be talking about someone that's of Cuban, Asian, Spanish descent. Yeah, look, Nepal. <laughs> um, also, somebody could be looking at someone as some sort of teacher as well, too, or something is, is uh, I feel like somebody sees someone as moving on, but also as like some sort of hit teacher as well, too, for some reason, the hermit and the death. This is somebody that's very knowledgeable about death or about moving on, how to move past some sort of obstacle or death. What's this, the um, page of swords? Yeah, this is somebody watching you. So this is this could be like your kids or like different nationalities that look up to you or, I don't know, some, something about your kids on YouTube as well. They're learning about different nationalities. It's very, it's, it's so easy to learn. It, 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 Technology right now is just like Gracie's Corner. It makes it so fun for kids to learn. Uh, you know, it just makes it interesting. So something about them learning about different cultures is here. All right. Something about your kids here. We just gonna leave these right here. Um, I'm gonna do a regular reading. They just wanted me to start channeling with this, I guess. I don't know. The full card. Yeah, do something brand new. Um, also the Grand Canyon is here so your kids may want to sightsee this <laughs> they want they want to see some stuff they want to go and do some other things they want to see some things they've seen on youtube or something like that or uh they want to go to these places yeah i just feel like they've seen a lot of places or they're uh that they could be very dr dreamy as well or like uh very open-minded and just wanting to see Different, different nationalities. I don't know how to explain it. They may not know those words as well, too. Something like that is here. <clears throat> All right. Or maybe I should. Let's see. All right, let's, let's just see what, what's going on in the collective. Let's just get a collective message. A new message. Also, I'm seeing somebody having a lot of kids with different nationalities as well as like, or their brother and sister is like, they may have a, an Asian or a Korean brother and their sister is from Nepal or something like that. Or uh, they may have a Cuban brother, or Cuban sister or something like that. Uh, I don't know, something like that is here. Look at this, the Ten of Swords. All right, so something has ended or something is the end of something as well uh, look at that the page of cups so we're definitely possibly talking about kids here this could be like the end of some some kid a kid could have died as well too i don't know some sort of child death i just saw the nine of swords dang somebody is stressed out oh my god this, they wanted to come out so somebody is, maybe this kid is, is offering some sort of support to someone that is, they see, it's not, this could be their parent that is, has something that's happened and they're trying to console them or trying to give them some sort of love or something like that is here. Yeah, four of swords. Whew. Now, oh, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm picking up a couple of messages. Now these could also be like since we do have the death card here this is like a father passing away and these all these kids are are here or something like that or all of these kids are hurt or something like that is here like they're meeting their brothers and sisters after this search for them or searching for someone's kids or now this, these could be the kids also wanting to hook up with their brothers and sisters you know what I'm saying, after their father has died or something like that, or after a death of a, a ancestor or the, uh, a, a parent. That's what I'm trying to say. I said an ancestor. <laughs> death of a parent is okay. Um, oh, the Three of Swords. Let's see. 
Seven of Wands. So there, these these people's kids could be fighting as well too. Uh, one of the kids could have hurt the other one, and now they're sorry. Something like that. Two of Pentacles on oh, my, my my ear. Something is going on. It's a lot of kids possibly talking about what happened somewhere. Look at that. The Page of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. It's like somebody is. Uh, Somebody saw something happen. There might be some kids that have witnessed something happening as well, too. I don't know. These kids could be... These kids' uh, testimonies could be written down somewhere. Look at this. The three three of cups. Yeah, I see a kid saying, yeah, they, they, was, they was partying and drinking and having fun. And then they got... Then, then they started fighting or something like that. I don't know. This <laughs> Uh, I, I see the I see somebody getting some sort of information from a kid or believing a kid or uh, also I hope not ending a kid but this could definitely be the this a kid finding out they have other brothers and sisters I'm feeling like this is this is kind of what this is. This is what this is kind of giving. This is like other brothers and sisters here. It's like at least three other ones. <laughs> this is this is wild. It's at least three other kids here. <sighs> hmm. Let's see. Wow. The Eight of Swords. Somebody don't see all these kids. Didn't know they had all these kids or something like that. Somebody has a lot of kids. Look at that. The Nine of Cups is here. This talks about wish fulfillment or uh, also, I don't know why I feel like this person could, could have slept with a lot of people, but this could also be someone that takes care of their kids as well too. They look, they're all their kids are in good standings. So I feel like this whoever this person is could have passed away, but they took care of their kids or maybe they have some sort of or they loved all their kids, or... I am kind of feeling like a kid was lost here. Or, uh, some Somebody could have died or something like that is here. Or maybe this is the end of searching for some sort of kids or looking or... Uh, block, trying to block some sort of kid as well, too. Look at that, the five of swords and the six of... Six of Swords. I mean, Five of Wands and the Six of Swords. Something about whew, fighting is here. Five, seven, and the Five of Wands. I feel like it's a lot of confusion here. Look at that, the King of Cups. Somebody that's possibly with emotionally withdrawn. Look at that, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like somebody is. Now, this could be somebody fighting after a funeral or after a some sort of uh, death or the kids fighting about somebody being gone, about what happened or how someone died. Wow, it's a lot of emotions here. Ain't no money here, though. <laughs> Look, the Three of Swords. Oh, my gosh. Somebody is definitely heartbroken about a situation that ended. Look at that. Somebody knows the truth. Look at that. The, Queen of Swords, a Virgo could be significant, or Libra is here. I don't know why I said Virgo first. The Libra is here. Uh, wow, look at that. The Two of Swords next. Something about a decision or something like that that was made. Also, it's no majors here. I just noticed that. It's no majors here. Now, the, the King of King of Queen of Swords and the King of Cups could have been a couple as well, too. Uh, somebody ended something here. It's no, it's not one major here. So this could be going on in the background. This is like emotional drama or stuff that we don't see, basically. Uh, now, all these, I feel like all these kids are these, this King of Cups. This, look, it's the King of Cups. This is the first court card, basically. The King of Cups, you got the Page of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups. That this this could also be someone that that walked out on their kids and only claimed one or only took care of one something like 
Something like that is here, y'all. This is crazy. Let's see. Let's ask a, a simple question, all right? This is this is this deck is called Should I? Um, let me see. It's, it's this right here. I think I got this on Etsy. Yeah, it's called Should I? So, <laughs> are all of these kids? Well, clearly all these kids. Let's see. Are all these kids the King King of Cups? <laughs> Possibly. Yes. Okay, so maybe that's another thing. Maybe they didn't get a DNA test done before this kid passed away. Oh, oh. Also, I'm feeling like if one of the kids is his, for sure, maybe one of the parents is not letting them swab the little boy's mouth to, to test the other kids or something like that. It says, don't waste your time underneath the deck. Ooh, this is crazy. Don't waste your time. All right, let's see. Um, dang. Did, okay. Did this... Did this King of Cups die? It's, it's, be more specific. Did they die? I said, did they die? It says, yes, but don't force it. So, maybe something... Something has ended, but they're not... Now, this could be the death of a situation as well, too. And then, on, no, it's on top of the deck. So, I feel like they didn't die. Maybe something was fatal as well, too. Or something could something could have led somebody to where they almost died. Like I said, somebody could have been drinking something. Or the kid, they could be asking the kid what happened. There's a lot of messages here. Like, what happened? That they was drinking and they got drunk. And then, I don't know. <laughs> something like that is there. But... I saw him feel like, like Billie Jean. <laughs> Billie Jean is not my lover. Is that how it goes? Wow, the 11th house Aquarius energy. It says, for humanity's sake, your hopes and wishes. Do it for the future. <laughs> Message. All right, look, it says, look, it says South Node. So this person is in a South Node. So uh, I guess, okay, if your North Node is, a, if, if this is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I guess if this is a Scorpio, what, their North, their South Node is in Taurus energy. Or if it's a Cancer, then their South Node is in Capricorn. And then if it's a, a Pisces, they're South Node is, a, is in Virgo. So definitely Virgo could be here. Uh, something like that. All right. I don't have no order for this reading. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Should I get these? No, let's, let's get these right here. Uh, so they, they say get this from first. So get this deck. Not enough in passion. It's not enough passion. Uh, <laughs> clearly, there's not enough passion here. But it seems like it, but it's just a lot of emotions. And it's it's not a lot of passion here. It's really not. It's seven of wands and the five of wands. Those are the wrong passionate cards. But then we had a knight of wands. But that's this is like only passion in the bedroom type shit. It says passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. Yeah, this is, yeah. And then it says, uh, not enough, I'm fr frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, and jealousy. And then it says soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. I don't know about all that. It could be. Cupid zero, have faith, love is calling, surprise, uh, surprise invitation or meeting, hesitation. I don't know, y'all. Maybe this might be your soulmate, but whatever it is, I don't feel like there's not enough passion here to keep this going. This could be the end of something, possibly. Uh, oh yeah, let's see these. Wow, 
Uh, we got spiritual. It says your spiritual journey is beginning. Wow, challenges. This is <laughs> ultra soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. I don't know. Maybe y'all gonna get over this. Maybe I don't get through this, or maybe they gonna take care of their kids, or something like that, or confusion. It says all seekers of truth experience confusion. Ask the divine to provide the answers you need. And then underneath the deck, it says boundaries. Have sensible, having sensible boundaries is important. Clearly, this is clearly this person didn't have no boundaries. They got all these kids. <laughs> Commitment. Commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. All right, so let's see. Can I get these right here? Oh, we have R for Libra, rabbit energy. We have uh, E for egg, Capricorn energy. We have T for turtle, our Aries, Tyrus energy. We have uh, yo Y for yo-yo. This is my Black Magic playing games card. This we got somebody could name could be Ty or Thank You is here. All right, also retro. I don't know why I feel like this is retro, and yet is here. So, so I feel like somebody is yet to find out if they the father. I hope this is my daddy. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got V for Taurus. I mean, V for uh, Volcano Taurus Energy. Vet. Somebody could be a veteran as well. Uh, Z for Zipper. This talks about closing out or closing chapters and things like that. And then we have J for uh, Jellyfish Virgo energy. So a lot of Virgo here, I'm feeling like. I kind of spoke that up. We got Jet. Oh, somebody could have a Jetta or have a Volkswagen or something like that. Uh, we have Jet. We have Yet. We have Vet. Then we have Rhett. How many is this? Seven. Let's, let's get two more. Uh, we have Q. For quail, and then we have X for X-ray. It talks about uh, your reflection. So something about your X is here. This could be your X. Rex is here. Uh, Tex is here. Something about Texas is here. Tex Mex or Texas Rangers uh, could be significant. Uh, exit. I'm seeing exit here. So maybe you leaving. Um, Is that Timo song? Timo song. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got uh, Q R Q R T. Something about quarters here. Court X Y Z is here. Q R S T X Y Z. Something about okay. So something about sex is here possibly. Something about, uh, yeah. Somebody also could be wrecked, like breaking their brain, trying to figure something out. I don't know why I'm feeling like that. Then we have another J underneath the deck. So, same message. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's go to these. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's let's see what this, let's see. Let's see. I'm just, I'm just curious to see what kind of archetype, archetype person comes out here. Teacher. It says ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom. All right. I feel like this is definitely a parent here. This is, every parent is a teacher, right? Shadow attributes, manipulating or abusing students, teaching negative traits and destructive skills. And then, wow, underneath the deck it says thief. Sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. And then the shadow attribute, it says stealing money, creative ideas, affection, or others' powers. Or other powers you think you lack. Hmm. Clearly, this person is a thief. Let's see. I don't know. Or a thief of something here. Wow. 
and then Alchem Al Alchemist came out. Maybe I should just leave it there. Let me see. Let me get one more. A, 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 a teacher teeth is here. So, uh, uh, wow, this is crazy. This shit says Hermit. It's definitely, this, this is definitely a Virgo read. Look. Seek solitude to focus on inner life. Serves personal creativity. Shadow attrib attributes. It says withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgment of others. Refusing to help those in need. Wow, underneath the deck it says Midas or Miser. It says uh, <laughs> light attributes, entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold, delight in sharing and sharing life's riches. And then shadow attribute it says hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing your wealth. Hmm. Ooh, this is this has been a strange, crazy reading. So. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. I feel like I should get another one. Let me see. Let me just get one more. Let's see what, let's see what this has to say. Wow. Let's see if it's on top of the deck. The student. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Student and teacher are here. And the hermit. This is somebody that's well taught, but they also... Uh, I have a lot of knowledge of manipulating people, I guess. <laughs> it says, light attributes, humility, and devotion to knowledge, openness to lifelong learning. And then the shadow attribute is ar arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge, unwillingness to translate knowledge into action. That's wild. Some, I, knew, I knew I should have looked on top deck. Top deck holes. <laughs> Peace. Wow, it says I have a being of love and I release all negative energy. Yes. Maybe somebody just wants to be at peace as well, too. Maybe somebody's going to admit, yes, I had all these babies. They all mine. <laughs> doubt. Maybe, maybe not. I doubt it. It says I release the need to know all the answers. Or maybe that's what these people are doing. Like, you don't need to know uh, all the answers or what happened to when and where about or how it happened. Just know that you got brothers and sisters out there that different nationalities. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Dang. So something is definitely lost here. Maybe somebody feels sad about it. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Something about peace is in freedom and peace are here. They're the same color. Something about turquoise or the earth, uh, azul, right? Um, cyan. Uh, those colors, those colors would be nice together. Uh, turquoise, purple, and black, hmm. yellow. Color scheme, okay. <laughs> Something about those colors for some reason. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see y'all on the next one.